Hey, I'm Matt. Welcome to my studio, The Roost. So, welcome. I've got a couple ISOs out here in the garage. This is the room right here. Wow. Okay, so we're down in the basement. Wow, this is crazy. I would call this room my multi-purpose room because it's used for tracking, mixing, Atmos mixing. I have songwriting sessions in here. It's called The Roost. You'll probably notice there's a theme with tractors and barn wood and I grew up on a farm in Illinois and I always wanted to have a barn for a studio and so I brought the barn into the studio. It's impressive that this is all in your basement. What are the, what's the ceiling height in here? So, well, when we ripped it out to the studs, it was 10 feet. Wow. Um, and then I brought it down to nine feet. We scabbed down and we went with eight inches of uh, mineral wool the eight pound mineral wool yeah. to kind of deaden it between floors so my wife can sit up in the family room, which is right above us, kitchen family room, and uh, not be annoyed by me if I've got it cranked. And so we came down to nine feet and then the clouds obviously dropped down. I want to say the cloud above the, uh, the mix position is probably eight and a half feet, eight feet, something like that to wow. the base of it. That is huge. And it's, it's two, four, five, six inches deep. It uses mineral wool as well, but then there's a two inch air gap and then more mineral wool above that and then an airspace above that to the ceiling. I taught acoustics for a while and so this is the fifth studio I've built, fourth one for myself, and have learned a lot from my mistakes. And so a lot of these bass traps that are on here are in addition to what's behind this. So there's, right. there's a good eight to 10 inches of airspace behind here. Wow. Um, for bass trapping. As we work the room and with the MM12s and the amount of low end output they can put into your space, I kind of started to work it out. It's really a treat to sit in here and listen to music. And having the couch where it's located from the back wall, they're not against the wall. So you know how you get that bass yeah. build up? I don't care what room you're in. Yeah. Uh, having them up here, they're about six and a half, seven feet from the back wall. The, the, the client couch is really comfortable listening position. They can really hear what's going on when they're sitting here. Then we have an overdub booth in here. This is kind of like a multi-purpose room for me. So when there isn't a drum kit set up in here, we're cutting vocals, acoustic overdubs, steel guitar cabinet, dobro, whatever we need to overdub after we track a session, um, this room gets set up for it. So drum kit gets torn down, spread around the edge of the room, these mics will come back out on the floor. Some mics I have upstairs right now in the acoustic station and the piano station will come down here and kind of be accessible for me to set up with different instruments. So it's, it's really a great functioning space for pretty much anything I need to record. Again, we're down in the basement. You, got, yeah. you, you essentially completely gutted it and re, yeah. rebuilt everything. Mm -hmm. This probably was a bedroom. It was a bedroom. Bathroom, living room kind of thing. Yeah, correct. There was a, the, the family before me had a, in that room, a big old train set and a TV kind of for the kids to play with. And wow. here was a, a, a bedroom. It was all drop ceilings. So it was eight foot drop ceilings in the whole wow. basement. Wow. And um, we just gutted it, ripped it down to the studs. Sure did. This then, is amazing. You know, just kind of came back in, and, and the reclaimed barn wood was kind of the, the vibe I wanted. I have a camera system, so, yeah, so anybody's see. in here can see where I'm sitting, and you can see where my spot would be. and uh, See your and face then, when you go, oh, that was a terrible day. Yeah, time. exactly. That, that's the worst part. Back, back <laughs> in the day, my old room, I had a sliding glass door over here. Yeah. So I could face forward, and if there's stuff going on I didn't like, I didn't have to worry about this. Yeah. Now this has to be cheery and always excited, you know? <laughs> and, uh, but, you know, psycho psychology 101, you might say. So anyway.